Oops, girl, what is that? Hey everyone, it's Brandy and welcome back to my channel. I am filming video two for today. This is the last one that I have that I'm ready for to film today. So sorry if I move through this quickly because I need to go back to sleep because I need to get in a few more hours of sleep before I need to start getting ready for work. But anyway, you guys don't care about that. Today I am going to be doing my Outcrate unboxing and this is the September box. I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind already. This is the September box. It, they actually sold out of this box so they ended up shipping it out early. I don't know if they shipped it out early because they sold out. But um, yeah, the box came early so it will should be on my channel early this video should be going up on friday as well as i think i should have my hoot loot box by then so that should also be going up the same day as this one and um yeah fairy loot i don't think my fairy loot has shipped yet but that will probably be going up next week or the week after i'm not really sure because i don't know when i'll be getting it Anyway, you guys don't care about that. Let's just go ahead and get into the unboxing. So the September theme was Mythical Creatures. And here is the spoiler card. Hopefully it is focusing in on that. And then that is what the back of the card looks like. I will say before I get into this, I do already know what's in this box. Because I was really impatient because they announced that they were releasing or they re announced that they were sending out boxes early and if i didn't know that i probably could have waited but everybody was receiving their boxes and i probably could have had mine on, on like saturday but it didn't come and i had to wait until monday so i just gave up <laughs> and saw what was in the box so i didn't you know end up getting spoiled just scrolling through instagram so um yeah anyway not important let's just get into this box so the first thing that is in here is a wooden bookmark from ink and wonder and it says i am the blood of the dragon and that is what that looks like it is really pretty and i believe this has something to do with a character from game of thrones i haven't read the books or i haven't started the show yet so i'm not completely sure the next thing that i see in here is the monthly outcrate pin that matches the spoiler card and this is box 31 it says on here and as always it has the theme on there as well and the next thing that is in this box is bath salts from the soap librarian and this is son of poseidon and this is really pretty and it smells good so i'm hoping this has like a longer lifespan just because it is bath salts that like bath bombs because i don't have the opportunity to really take a whole lot of baths and all the bath bombs that I have gotten in my boxes over the year or so that I've been subscribed, I haven't used yet, which some of them I think it's over past time to use them, so maybe they'll still work, hopefully, fingers crossed, whenever I get to them, but yeah, I don't really have the opportunity to take baths, so that's really nice. I don't know exactly when I'll be using those. The next thing that's in here is this little dragon coin pouch or coin purse, whatever you want to call it. And this was designed by Alcrate or designed and made by Alcrate. And it's just like a canvas material with dragons on it. The next thing in here, which I was really excited about, was the book bowl that was in here. I have been hearing quite a few complaints about the book bow but it seems like mine might be one of the ones that turned out okay i do notice some things that are different from the other book bows that i have ordered um mainly the thing is that the opening of it looks just like a tad bit smaller than the rest of the bow it looks like it was like the material was cut too short and I just kind of stitched it together anyway. This is the first book bow that I have ever ordered. And they're supposed to be about the same size. And this one is handmade. So it's obviously not going to be the same as like these mass produced ones. Let me see something. This is the book that I'm currently reading. And it looks like it should fit in here without any problems. Uh, yeah, it fits about the same. Like I said, the, the top is a little smaller than 
this one so I did have to like wiggle it in there a little bit but there's definitely a whole lot of room in there and I will see at the end of this video if my book that's in this box will fit in here because I know some people said that their boxes will fit or their books that came in this box did fit in this book bow but some say that they could barely get like a paperback or a small hardcover which is supposed to fit in there so we will definitely or i will definitely check that out i really like this print and i cannot wait to use this one and i'm really glad to have like another book sleeve in my collection and then the last thing that was before the book is this sticker which is of Hagrid and Buckbeat. I don't know where to put my stickers. If you guys have any place that you put your stickers, I know a lot of people said that you could probably put them on your laptop. But I'm just not one of those people who likes putting a bunch of random stickers on my laptop just because I know at some point I'm going to probably switch it out for a new one and I don't want to lose my stickers. I want to be able to have them somewhere where I'll always have them. And the book that was in this month's box, which I am really excited about, is Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows. And as you guys can see from the stickers, this is an exclusive or this is an Alcrate exclusive cover. So here is the book, which I think is beautiful. I really like the fact that this edition, which is the Alcrate edition, has the gold on the front instead of silver. I think it's really beautiful. And also I saw somebody show, I don't know if this is like this with all the books, but the spine of the actual book is gold, even though the rest of the book is pretty boring but that is really pretty. There were some extra goodies that came with the book. So we have a signed book plate from the author. We have the letter from the author, which has the cover on the book on the back and it actually has the Alcrate cover on the back of this as well. It doesn't have like the original cover. And then with this one, we got a little booklet that says, Dragons of the Fallen Isles and it's a guide I'm guessing to the dragons in this book. So there are a few um, dragons. I'm not really sure if this is all the dragons that are in this world but there is a little booklet about the dragons or at least a few of the dragons. I'm not really sure on that. Something new that Alcrate is doing is this little booklet which gives you more information about the box and i haven't seen this in any box that i have gotten besides fairy loot so it's just a little pamphlet that gives you more information i'm guessing so uh there on the first page there is an interview interview from the author as well as it shows you the regular versus the outcrate covers which i think is really nice because i feel like since they've been doing this a lot of the time I don't know the difference if I wasn't paying attention to the book beforehand or they're like really small differences that I wouldn't notice and then on the back or on the next page we have a crossword puzzle or not a crossword a word search and then there are three other books to read if you like this book that was in the box and actually one of the book one of the books that they listed here is one of one of my most anticipated reads and then they have some more information on bookbo the company that made oops wrong thing that made these so it has a little information about Benita and her company obviously and then they have the list of the photo challenges which I think is also really nice just because they always put it up on Instagram, but they put it up after the fact and usually by that point I have already like put everything up that came in my box or you know like put them up where I keep all my extra stuff and I don't feel like pulling it back out. So I think it's really nice that we have this ahead of time so we know the, the challenges for next month and then we can like start planning ahead. And then it gives the October theme as well as the item that will be included in the box and I'm not going to read that just because I'm pretty sure yeah also they still have this in in the box which I think at some point they might get rid of since they started creating these booklets because the theme is in the back of that but we do still have these cards and it says the theme for October is find me in the forest and as always these cards are beautiful and then it says in the October box we will receive a candle from in the wake of time 
and the back of that is also really beautiful so as i promised before i get to before i end this video i'm going to take the cover off because i don't like running my covers but this is like a pretty decent size hardcover book which i feel like it might be able, i might be able to get it to fit in the other book bow just because i feel like that one is a little stretched out but yeah i actually got mine to fit in here it is a little tight but i will say that it's not like too tight of a fit because as you can see i still have room in here on the front and the back like there's still room in here and if it wasn't for the smaller opening i feel like it would slide in perfectly because let me try out my other one the other the only thing that's going to be an issue is the top part which i think over time it won't be as bad because it might stretch out just a little bit hopefully i'm really hoping it will whoops don't want to lose the bookmark yeah see it fit in this one as well it just it slid in a little easier because the rim this like the top rim fabric is wider than the one on here but the book actually fits in mine perfectly so I think that works out really well so I think it just depends on which like how which one you got and if it might have been a defective one and if you got one just always email out crate and see if they would be willing to help you out because I know they have really great customer service about that but that's all I have for you guys in this video thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys again in the next one bye